Welcome back. I'm here with Football League editor Pascal Lamed to talk about Saturday lunchtime's championship match between Derby County and Leeds United. Pascal, both sides drawn every game so far. Derby were pre-season favourites for promotion, but already six points off the pace. Yeah, it's been a really underwhelming start from them. You look at their squad and the teams they've been able to play and the, the, the talent they've got there. And it, to not win a game yet and you know, go out in the cup to Portsmouth like they did, very, very disappointing. And, uh, three one all draws in a row now. Last time out, uh, the Friday night game at Birmingham, who had a really good start to the season. They go there. Fall behind, you know, they, they were quite unlucky the way the goal went in. It was a 35, fully 35-yard shot from Gleeson and it took a slight deflection and went right in the corner. Nothing Scott Carson could do about it, but, you know, second half they created some chances and Johnny Russell again came up with the equaliser. He did it against Middlesbrough, did it again. Another fantastic finish. That's twice now he's really saved them. And you just, just wonder, like, why that? Why it's going so badly for them? Because you would have thought. I mean, I know it's Clement in his first managerial job, but you would have thought that even if, say, there wasn't even a manager in charge, that the squad they've got, they would have been able to just pick up a win with the players managing themselves. So it's been disappointing. But you know, they have they have struggled with injuries in midfield. You know, they've lost uh, Will Hughes for the whole season. Bryson's still out. You know, and then now after a midfield, I've seen them link with uh, Adam Forshaw, Jacob Butterfield, and Adam Pr- uh, Alex Pritchard as well from Spurs. I'd be surprised if Pritchard. Uh, drops down to the championship again. He's just signed that new contract at Spurs. He was brilliant for Brentford last year, but I've seen Norwich in for him as well. And if you think if he's got the choice between trying to impress in the Premier League with Norwich or with Derby in the championship, you think he'd choose the former. So you still expect them to be all right. They are six points off the pace already, but you know they've still got a very, a very, very good squad there. And you just surely that first win is going to come soon. As for Leeds, they'll be desperate for that first win under Ray Roslo as well. They will be, yeah. It was a, they had a decent start to the season, some good results, but now that it's been like four draws in a row, like Derby, they're now sort of just waiting for that first win. And last time out, they hosted Sheffield Wednesday, who have had a decent start themselves, and they fall behind to that absolutely stunning goal from uh, Marco Matthias, that volley. Surely, I mean, you can't see many goals are going to be better than that this season. Probably one goal of the season already, the way he flicked it over and in, and nothing Sylvester could do about it. But they fought back well in the second half, Leeds. You know, the goal was a really good goal of their own. You know, Stuart Dallas not make the defender and then crossing for Chris Wood, who's got two and two now which is really good for him because he struggled uh, on loan at Ipswich in the championship last year but he's come to Leeds so I think it was three million they spent on him so a lot of money now he's got two and two he's certainly you know got a bit of confidence about him now and they were trying to sign um, Forrest Dieri from Watford but I think you know they, they'd agreed a deal but I'm not sure he wanted to go I think he's, they, I've seen reports that he wanted to stay in the south of England didn't want to move up to Leeds so if they've, they've given up on him and it looks like they're going for a, a Belgian winger a Limbom uh, from NEC I don't know too much about him I have to see if they sign him but they're also looking at Liam Moore as well from Leicester and I'll be, if, if they do get that one through, it'd be interesting because the defence is probably their most solid part of their team. You know, Berardi, um, whether it's Cooper or Belushi alongside Bamba. Bamba's a brilliant defender. He's had a great start. You know, the captain there and Taylor's looking really good at left back. So if they sign more, it'd be interesting to see if they think he might be the ones coming alongside Bamba. But elsewhere, they get Lewis Cook back for this game. He's been suspended for the last three after that awful challenge against Dongs during the League Cup. So if he's back, you know, Alex Mowat, who was their probably their best player last season, he's been on the bench the last two. So maybe Rossler thinks that maybe only Cook and Mowat play best together. So now that he's got Cook back, Mowat might come back into the side as well. And they'll certainly need their strongest team here because the trip to Derby, even though they haven't had a great start to the season, it's a very difficult game. So both sides looking for that first win. Who do you see getting it? Uh, I'm going to have to side with Derby, I think, just because you just surely, surely their quality is going to come through eventually. And I just think that even though they are a slightly short in midfield, I just think they will have too much for Leeds here, and I'm going to go 2-0 to Derby. Sports more going for a 2-0 home win for Derby there.